Everybody, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sir Raj. Now you can play in Europe too. Happy birthday, mate. Happy birthday. Hey guys, it's Mosley Villain and welcome back to your run on the Impossible Dream. Season 7, Episode 7 today, we have, uh, we're in France for Nantes in the Europa League and then we end the uh, first half of the season before the winter break at home to Slaven Balupo in the league. But the excellent news is Siraj has turned 17, that means he is eligible now for Europe. Uh, are we heavily relying on a 17-year-old? Yes, yes, very much we are. But he's just been very, very good for us and uh, yeah, he can play every game now in theory. So... We don't want to try and do that to him. We do want to try and develop him and not just play him constantly. But we're probably playing him a little bit uh, a little bit more constantly than, <laughs> than would ideally be the case. He has played, I don't know if you can see down here, 36 appearances. And that would all be in the league by the time he's 17. I mean, if he keeps stays with us, God knows how many appearances he could end up having. But anyway, uh, that is Siraj. Happy birthday to him. He is, uh, he is uh, legal, legally able to play in any game we want. But uh, there's two games we need to catch you up on. The first of those in the league was against uh, Bordeaux. Of course, our affiliate side. Wouldn't want to lose to them, would we? Matenovic put us ahead just before halftime. And it was 2-0 just after the break when Ramsey crossed for Matenovic's second. Before Matenovic was in the right place at the right time for his hat trick. So it was a comfortable win, as it probably should be. And uh, yeah, Matenovic just, just had a good day in front of goal, which was excellent. And uh, maybe a little bit of luck. A little bit of luck on the last one uh, there. But that's okay. We'll take it and run. Uh, you'll see we had uh, Basenic. Now, Santiago went off early. So we had uh, two young, promising centre-backs playing for this one. So for them to keep a clean sheet as well, really, really promising. Now, we do have some players on loan there. Rakic got the start up front. Birchman was playing at left-back for them. And Turpic was on the bench. Surprising to me that they're, they're picking Rakic over Turpic as their, as their main man up top there. So... Yeah, maybe, as, as I said, just a slight surprise on that front. Uh, next up in the league, it was Luka Motiva, who used to be our senior affiliate. We went ahead when Dekic crossed Barak Vasily. And that was it. We just about deserved to win this one. The goal came kind of late. Dekic got himself sent off for a double booking. And uh, yeah, so we were sort of hanging on a little bit at the end. But we took, I think Siraj came off. We just uh, basically replaced the right back and just didn't have uh, a number 10 and it worked out okay we, we sort of hung on and like I say we just about we just about deserved to win it so let's have a look at what that all means for the league table and of course our mission is second place and our mission is currently on track uh we've got a, a one point gap over Gorica but after that we do of course play Slavin Balupo today there's a four point gap back to them if and it's a big if, but if we could beat them, go sort of seven points clear, that starts to make a top three finish at least look good. And uh, top three finish would be guaranteed uh, Europa League football at a minimum. Top two, of course, go into the Champions League. So let's go and... Uh, oh, actually, before we do that, the player stats here. You'll notice Matanovic's hat trick has got him right up there now in the golden boot. Uh, Hamace is still doing well in the average match ratings. Uh, Della Vabora up there in the assists as well and then player of the match awards and uh, all the other things we can see there as well surprisingly no clean sheet uh, top three for us though so this is what we've got uh Nantes, who are currently second in the uh, europa league league phase they've guaranteed themselves they are through anyway so hopefully we can join them today a point will just about be enough we sit seventh we're expecting a 4-4-2 out of them and this is a team that we're sending out ayasa in goal now ayasa's recent form has improved so I'm not going to say he's back in the good books, but I'd say he's maybe out of the bad books. Um, yeah, maybe like won't be on the transfer list in January. But anyway, let's see how he does here. Triantis, Tosic and Williams will be the back three. Due and Della Vabora will be the width. Uh, we've got Palumbo, Kakavanga, Siraj, European debut with Akbarsley and Vizenton up front. All right, so we can see the team sheets. Alban Lafont, he was a, a wonder kid a uh, few FMs ago now, but he was a wonderful goalkeeper. I think, was he at Florentino or did he just go to Florentino in one of my saves? I'm not sure now, but I remember he was uh, he was quite special back in the day. Uh, I don't recognize too many other names in their lineup, though. Oh, no, Cameron Devlin. How could I miss him? Socceroo, of course. Well, they're going to be very tough to beat. A Socceroo each uh, who will come out on top. Uh, they don't impress me. I think we take a little bit of the pressure off here. 
Uh, we are away from home. We are against a team that is clearly at Europa League level very, very good, having won five from five. Uh, though in truth, when I looked at the games they'd played, maybe not had the strongest of opposition, but then you could say a similar thing to us, really. Uh, our only loss, of course, was that goal fest away to Cadiz. So, you know, we're, we're not doing too badly ourselves. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We've, we've effectively guaranteed ourselves uh, out of uh, the league phase. Um, could we get top eight? I think our next game in, the, in the, this is a, at home to Braga. And then we go away to Lille, which will be tough for the final game. I would say we would have to beat Braga at home to get the 15 points. And we probably need... Do we need two draws or just one draw out of the you know the two French games to be able to uh, to get ourselves into that top eight? Uh, yeah, I'm not 100 percent sure, but we'll uh, we'll see what we can do here. I'm hoping a little bit if they have qualified already that they'll take their eye off the ball. Siraj over a free kick chips it in. It's headed away. It'll be picked up by Della Vabora. He's done well to get into a good position. It is not a penalty. Triantis is there, floated into the back post. Where it's cleared away. Siraj has it again. Siraj drives forward. Has a go. It's a good save. Oh, it would have been a wonderful strike from Siraj. But just not quite able to beat the keeper. Kakavenga to take the corner. Floats it towards the back post. It's flicked away. Palumbo will pick it up. He goes back to Tosic. And that will end that particular highlight. So a promising start for us there. Uh, sixth is where we currently sit in the table. Between Manchester United and Newcastle. We've got defending to do here, though. Ball in. It is oh, beaten at the back post, and it's 1-0. That just seemed very, very soft, didn't it? Williams is back there. I mean, we couldn't ask for a... He's our best man, so... Yeah, there's not too much we can do about that. Unfortunately, if he's getting beaten in the air, he's jumping reaches about 27, so... <laughs> He's eight, 18 jumping reach, reasonably strong. That's not much, I don't think, if he's getting beaten in the air, we can do. Here we go, though. Siraj over a free kick. Is he going to go for goal? Is he going to chip it in? He goes for goal, and Lafont, for the second time, makes a good save to deny Siraj. Kakavenga now. Again, we go towards the back post. I wonder if Williams is going to be determined to uh, get his head on the end of one of those now. Tosic, and that ends the highlight. Della Vabora. I tell you, other than that one free kick, it has kind of been all us and do at the back post heads this level. Well, 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 he doesn't get many does old do but he does have a good jumping reach. He's playing right wing back for this one. As I said uh, last episode, I'm thinking with the new uh, signing we have coming in in January, it's just a good cross. He's read it well and Lafont, he expect him to save that, I would have thought. But anyway, that's brilliant. It's 1-1. One, one. And again, we've been the better team here. They've only scored from their one attempt so uh that fills you with a little bit of confidence that maybe we could do so you look at some of the some of the teams in this competition they braga's beating uh lazio which or the lazio we beat them last season didn't we so they're maybe not the strongest uh though the fact they're back in europe and in a competition up makes you think that something's gone wrong oh. ayasa in europe someone said it in the comments he's allergic to making saves now, this may have taken a deflection, so it may be a little bit harsh on him. But I'd love to know that the shots on target, uh, it has taken a deflection, so it's very harsh on him. It's it's unlucky is what it is. Palumbo's got a leg on it and just knocked it past him. Um, but yeah, he doesn't make many saves, does he? There seems to be a lot of shots on target and uh, not too many less goals going in. All right, can we get level before the break? We're in the first half stoppage time. Do to Palumbo, who's got a little bit of space. Chips it into the back post. Visentin's there, and Visentin, if he's onside, has equalised in first half stoppage time. I think it's okay. It is okay. Excellent work, then. Do and Palumbo, they just got caught out there, didn't they? A man short. Palumbo crosses it in. I think what a decent header, isn't it? <laughs> it would have been better off almost nodding it back to Della Vibora. But it's not... Oh, it is kind of close. Just at the point he crosses it. It was never. It was only close for that one split second, wasn't it? So that is going to be 2-2 at the break. Uh, it's a game that we've more or less dominated. And somehow, uh, we just still can't defend, can we? So let's, let's 
do we say we've been the better team? Let's dig in. Let's go with dig in. Everybody seems to be motivated by that. Um, I'm wondering... Uh, what do we do here? We haven't seen much from Akbarsley, have we? The defense isn't playing brilliantly. There's a part of me that wonders if we go just maybe slightly more defensive and just, you know, not slow the game down a little bit. Let's maybe do that. Let's maybe just slow it down a little bit and just see if we can maybe take... I mean, not that there's much sting left in it for them, they've only, but they've only had two shots. So if we can even dominate possession a little bit more and just you know make them chase it chase us around get tied and go from there Akbarsli not having a good day let's get Matanovic on for him um yeah we're just very thin up front right now we do have Fillet is on his way back so he's not too far away uh which will be helpful we could, of course, call back uh, a Turpich or a Rakic. Here we go, Siraj over a free kick. Siraj has another go off the post this time. Oh, was it Kakavengo? It said Kagan. Here we go, Siraj again to the back post. Due heads it back in. Oh, it was towards Vizenten, but the goalkeeper was there. 15 minutes to play. Can we get what would be a stunning result on the road if we can uh, manage to nick something here? Due. We de I feel like we definitely deserve to win this, don't we? Palumbo has it. Back to Douay. Douay. It's gone a long way. Douay! Oh, it's a good save. You would have had long odds on Douay getting a double. Although it does uh, make a great headline, doesn't it? Douay on the double. Double Douay. Kakavenga with a corner. Again to the back post. Again, it's over everybody. Williams picks it up. And that will end it for that. Let's just keep encouraging them. Do we really push for it later on? I, the thing is, I don't think a draw is a terrible result for us here. As Boda Glint has taken the lead against Lille. They are, of course, the team we're facing last in the group. And we've picked up a draw away to Nantes. I think that's okay. Could we have chased it a little bit more late on there in the second half, particularly late on? Possibly. But I think that uh, I think a draw there is a decent result for us. So that is now 13 points. Uh, we're three points off sort of the top teams. And if we can beat Braga at home, that'll take us to 16 points. And that would start to look okay for the top eight then, I would have thought. 2-0, Lil got beat. So Turpich is not getting... So we'll, we'll just bring him back. If he's not getting game time, there's no point in him being out. So that's unfortunate. Uh, but we missed the chance to win. But like I say, we've that's guaranteed us through, hasn't it? You're ruined. There we go. So we're through. And, yeah, maybe I do like to usually go for a win, but I just feel like in that particular situation, we know that we're not the greatest at the back. I don't think that's a, a terrible thing to do. So anyway, Turpich is back. We'll probably have to play in the league because we're a little thin, but that's up next. Slavin Balupo, big one. All right, welcome back. So at home to Slavin Balupo, second versus fourth. This is a big, big game, isn't it? Uh, and Hatchuk split, by the way, are currently bottom. That would be insane if they get relegated. Now, I don't think they stacked their energy yet either. Anyway, so we're expecting a 4-2-3-1 out of them. And uh, this is what we're doing. A uh, heavy match load for Siraj is not ideal. Um, all right, Lovric, I'll give you a chance. I'll give you a chance. Uh, Matanovic as well. Um, we've got a break after this, Matanovic, you're fine. Uh, so Bayasa will give him, this is it. This is probably going to determine his future at the club. Uh, last game before the window opens. Let's see what he can do for us. Tosic and Williams will be the back two. Uh, Antwi and Hamace will go down the wings. Jakic is going to play the halfback. Now, if you're wondering where Sit Hole is, Cup of Nations. He's off representing South Africa. Bosnia, Kakavenga, Lovric, Vizenton and Matanovic are the rest of the team. All right, so we can see the team sheets here. Uh, let's see. Saar Fadida. That sounds like a rugby player's name from like uh, Samoa or something. That's a great name. Uh, David Valiquez, don't recognize him. This guy was pointed out to me in the pre-game press conference as being quite good. So we'll see what we get with him. Um, home is important. Make it count. All right, let's go with that. Uh, we've got our two aggressive players in uh, Tosic and Kakavenga. We have to keep them apart in the dressing room or else they just go at each other. 
All right, and here we go. So last game before the winter break. Uh, in terms of the transfer window, now we know we've got a right back coming in. We know we've also got that young keeper uh, who may or may not work out for us. I mean, we're always looking up. We? We're always looking to strengthen. We do have some uh, some money in the bank. Obviously, we sold uh, Pembele. Now, part of that money has been used to, to bring in the new right back. Um, we are probably... We probably have too many centre-backs, if I'm honest, because we have a lot of young ones as well. Um, but I'm not sure who, <laughs> I'm not sure who I want to get rid of, if anybody. So we'll see there. Uh, I think Antwi has done quite well as a right-back. As I said, I think Due might work out okay as a centre-back for us, as Jakic can't quite win that back for us. And we find ourselves a little bit caught out at the back as Williams gets uh, mugged off. He tries to get back, and that is... Um, well, that is a goal that feels like it was very, very preventable, I've got to say. It's a, it's a stunning individual effort. I mean, look where he's picked that ball up from. How he's got past Williams there, I'm not sure. Jakic has got himself back and then just got run straight past. And um, it's a calm finish at the end of it. As I say, very preventable. But from their point of view, it's a very good, uh, very good individual effort. So we'll tell them to fire up. Still a long, long way to go. Uh, but, you know, I said if we win, we go seven points clear. If we lose, of course, the gap is back to a point, which is uh, less than ideal. So everybody's anxious. Excellent, guys. Excellent work. Um, Why is Visenton anxious? I mean, I get Lovrich. He's come off, you know, he's come, he's not come off the bench, but he doesn't usually play. Um, So, you know, he's, he's maybe a little bit on the, the the nervous side of things but i don't get why uh Vicenton, he's playing a different role perhaps as oh he asked did he make a save there no it was a goal kick um frustrated Vicenton. okay so let's uh let's make a switch for Vicenton and uh Matanovic. they're playing each other's roles i thought maybe it might work out but it's clearly not so we'll, we'll switch those guys around we'll try and encourage them we need to, of course, defend here first. And that is just over the top. So you would say something here is not working. So let's raise up our tempo uh, and let's try and trap them inside. We've had, again, all the possession. But that seems to be the case for us quite often, doesn't it? It doesn't mean we do anything with it. Uh, let's... Let's not exploit the middle. Uh, we're going to have to say, you know, unlucky at half time because we just look. We look like we should all be in therapy. Visenton is furious. I'm not quite sure why. And uh, that is that is not a great half of football. And in truth, just being the one nil down is maybe not the worst situation. So we seem to have hooked them up with the unlucky. And we'll get them back out there for now. We'll encourage them and see if uh, see how we start this second half off before we start making changes. Kakavenga, Matanovic, Visenton, none of which are playing particularly well. Okay, so uh, Kakavenga, who did play, of course, in Europe about three days ago, he can come off for uh, Renokia. And Twee's not having a great game. Uh, I wonder if we need to exploit the flanks. Maybe we'll just make the one change for now. And I wonder if... Uh, I wonder if we lower it down and exploit the flanks and just work it into the box. Let's try that. Encourage them. Lovrich is actually having a decent game. It's everybody else that's letting him down. Um, all right, we've got a corner. How much to take? Can we find someone at the back post? It is up. It's not away. Matanovic has a look at Bosniak. He's got time. He's got space. And he can't find the target. All right. Um, we're just going to get rid of all this. We'll keep working the ball into the box on, I think. Because, um, 
All right, let's go a high line and trap them inside. Let's try that. They were a route one side. Antwi's having a nightmare, so let's take him off. Uh, we'll get Douay on. We should have one stoppage left. Hamachi to take another corner. It's to the back post, and it's in from Reese Williams. Cost us a goal against Nantes, and has he got us? Uh, has he got us a point here? Hamache, good ball in, and Williams, we know he's good in the air, which is what makes that goal against not so frustrating in a way. All right, Vizenton can come off. We've got some free kick work to do here. Turpich can come and play some football. Ball in, it's away. Lovrich is there. Lovrich has it. All right, can we get them on the break now? Renokia pouring forward. Vizenton's with him. Renokia, I think he's on side. Can he finish now? Renokia! Oh, it's a stunning goal from Filippo Renokia on the break. And we've turned it around in a matter of minutes here. This is a cracking counter attack, isn't it? Lovrich did so well. Vizenton, Renokia, this guy just played him on, didn't he? But Renokia, he's not the quickest. But he's done so, so well. And the finish was superb. It's a cracking goal, isn't it? How close was this to offside? It's just about right. And the finish as well. The finish was spectacular. All right. Let's give them some praise now. And can we go on? And uh, let's go back to maybe just balanced. Can we see this out? They've scored from their only shot on target. Which again for Ayasa doesn't look great. Williams is knackered and on a booking. If we don't concede, yeah, we have conceded and it's the rugby player. Is he offside? Williams, he can't come off. I've used all my subs. Please be something wrong with it. There was nothing wrong with it. We kind of knew that, didn't we? And I mean, both our centre-backs are there. You do wonder how he's managed to score from that. And we've got a kickoff highlight. Have they just angered the beast? Or are we about to fall in a heap? Bosniak to Williams. I mean, look at that energy. He has absolutely nothing left. Bosniak. Oh, it's a bad pass. It's a terrible pass. And we're in trouble again. We're massively overdone at the back. Yakic has won it back, though. Go on, Yak. Forward. Lovrich. He's just watched it. We're a shambles again. We're a shambles again. That's ah, offside. That's offside. I've got very little doubt about that. Surely that is offside. That had to be offside. And we've scored two really quick ones. How is that not offside? We better get a replay or else I'm calling bribe. That is, that's unbelievable. That is surely offside. Um... Well, I guess we just, we've got to keep going at them now, don't we? But that was surely offside. So six minutes of stoppage time. We're about to enter the 93rd minute. Actually, so it's probably the 94th minute, isn't it? Because the first minute is 0 to 59. Anyway, that's beside the point. It's 4-2. And we've definitely, we've definitely fallen in a heap. That goes without saying. And, um... Yeah, I wonder, I wonder at 2-1 if we needed to just drop off a little bit more. I think we've, we've, I think we can say AS is going. Uh, he's playing a 6.0 and I've, uh, I've just about had enough of him. And that is a devastating blow, especially from 2-1 up. We've got two goals in two minutes and then they just blew us away at the end. We fell in a heap. And that is, uh, that is not good enough. So we are still second. That's the good news. The bad news is uh, there's a couple of teams that are right up our backsides now. So it's still only three points between second and fifth. And uh, Rijeka's beaten Dynamo as well. Would have been a handy game to win that one, wouldn't it? To keep us uh, a little bit closer to Dynamo. Anyway, so disappointing collapse. I mean, it's a little bit more than a disappointing collapse, to be honest. It's absolutely infuriating. And uh, yeah, well, there we go. That is that. Guys, it was a decent result away and it should have been a good result at home. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll come back for the last two games. Well, we'll see what happens. If Braga guarantees us top eight, 
which it won't do, will it? We'll come back for the last two. Aussie Yak is a struggling team this season anyway. But we will, of course, be back when the transfer window is opened. The European window will open before that. So uh, hopefully we don't lose anybody. Uh, hopefully Ayasa will be gone. And if he is, we'll have a party. That's for sure. Till then, guys. Take care.